It's been a week since primary election day in the state of Maryland. Tens of thousands of mail-in ballots continue to be counted and a democratic race for Montgomery County executive is still too close to call. Mr. Elrich, thank you for joining us here at Montgomery Community Media. Good afternoon. Mr. Elrich, how are you feeling with how the race is looking like so far? It's not unexpected and uh, we, we knew it was gonna be close and we know that there are a lot of votes outstanding. So it's hard to get excited about where it is right now. Officials from the Montgomery County Board of Elections have said that this process may take several weeks. How are you keeping up with the county of the votes? Uh, we get the daily update. We, I don't know anything until they post it at either usually around 10 or 11 o'clock at night. But when they post the counts, then I know what they've got. We don't have any way of, uh, there's not even any way of keeping track in the interim basis of um, what the counts are. Do you think this close race is a repeat from the last primary election for county executive in 2018? Well, I mean, it sure looks vaguely similar in terms of votes, you know, the spread between both of us. And we know you have a full-time job as county executive, but have you had any time to decompress and rest during this process? So this week I saw baseball and I saw a concert. So I did go out and do a couple of normalish things. I still have like normal work days, but I did, you know, I was able to, I'm not, I'm not immersed in campaign events every night anymore. So it's allowed me a little space in the evening. And while everyone waits for the final primary election results, what is your message to your voters and the community? Um, be patient. This was triggered by a decision that the governor made. This is no, nobody's messing around, you know, where people have worried in other jurisdictions, nobody messing around with what votes count, what don't count. This is a uh, self-inflicted wound by the state that we're all paying for. So just be patient. It will end. For the latest Montgomery County election news and information, visit mymcmedia.org and click on Election 2022.